ladies, welcome to 3 O'Clock Coffee, your daily pick-me-up from God's Word. Whether you're at home changing diapers or you're at work feeling like your boss needs them, let's get a dose to encourage ourselves, stay on course, and finish out our day strong. Let's take a drink. Are you ready? So, in high school, my first car was a Plymouth Laser. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it broke down basically every three weeks. Besides all of the strange things that you had to know even to drive it, the transmission would go out almost every single time I got in the car. And so one day it had been sitting there for several weeks. I'm a teenager and I need a car. So I pop the hood and I look at the engine and I just thought maybe if I steer it this long enough, I'm going to be able to figure out how to fix it. Meanwhile, I don't even know what a screwdriver is. Well, some of us act like this in life. In 1 Corinthians 2.9 it says, But as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But a lot of people stop there. They're like me looking at the engine in my car saying, I guess this is just never going to get fixed because I can't figure it out. The next verse, verse 10, actually says, But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Well, maybe I couldn't figure out what was wrong with my car that day. But if I would have taken it to a mechanic, they would have said, Hey, the transmission's out, and this is how you fix it. I talked to the expert. Well, in life, you don't have to be uh, stuck in a place of mystery about the things that God has for you. In verse 10, it says he's going to reveal them to you according to his spirit. So it doesn't have to be a mystery. Talk to God. He's the mystery revealer, and he's going to show things to you that will help you walk in the fullness of his goodness and his promises. Whatever you're going through today, know that God is for you, and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.